Hello there, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Art Tips. I'm Mondo, and we're going to be talking about the Symmetry tool today. So, we're going to be working in Clip Studio Paint Pro. I have version 1.41, but I'm not entirely sure when this function was originally added, so I'll make a little note in the uh, little annotations box, and you can figure out if you have that in your version. Uh, also, Clip Studio Paint Pro goes by Manga Studio as well, so it may or may not be present if you have Manga Studio. I'm pretty sure that the programs are pretty much identical, but if not, feel free to correct me in the comment section and I'll make a note of that as well. So let's get right into it. So first off, what we're going to be doing to get the symmetry tool is we're going to go into this little toolbar in the side, go down over near the bottom right above this A, there's a little blue triangle tool, and that is the rulers. So it'll kind of pull up here, and you'll see this long list. You're going to want the one right down at the bottom, sy symmetrical ruler. So that's the one. So let's start off with two lines. So that's going to be nice and easy. We'll hit line symmetry here, and just kind of click on any place on your canvas and your ruler will show up. Let's do it vertical. Alright, and you can also change whichever direction you want it to go depending on how you drag it across on your canvas. So you can go in pretty much any direction that you want. Uh, just to make it easy, I'll just go straight up and down. So the symmetry tool is super helpful if you're doing something a bit more on the mechanical side. Uh, or like the geometric side. You can probably use it for more organic looking stuff like in images if you hide it well, but everything's gonna look a little bit stiff if you make it all symmetrical, if it's going to be like a person or something. So like if you do a, like a face or something, let's make a head here. Like, this is going to be a nice, like, headshot for just kind of laying things out and seeing, like, how a character's face will look. But there's just something about working so symmetrical that looks a little stiff. Also, you might end up making your characters cross out if you're not careful. But yeah, if you just kind of like to get the layout for a character's face or something by just doing like these straightforward headshots, feel free to use the symmetry tool for that. Also, if you're going to be doing something like more decorative, like a couple of pieces that I'm going to show you a little bit later that I did with the symmetry tool, uh, I'll talk about that. Um, but that, that's a, a good way to use the symmetry tool as well. So let's pull up another ruler. And this time, let's go with a bit more variation. Let's do six. So we're going to keep this line symmetry button clicked here. And just click anywhere. And we got six lines of symmetry. So you can make really nice patterns. And this is really helpful if you want to make kind of like mandala looking shapes or if you want to make flowers or just if you want to scribble randomly. It's actually really therapeutic to just sit here and doodle incoherently. You get some really cool shapes. So that's another thing you can do with that. Uh, and let's bump it up to a higher number. Let's do an odd number this time. Let's do 9. So you can get these kind of wave patterns when it's an odd number. And this is nice if you're trying to do something like a dandelion or like a mum or just kind of uh, like Celtic knots and stuff. So you can get some really nice patterning going on here. 
and finally let's bump it all the way up to 16 and we're gonna unclick this line symmetry tool and just like the last one you kind of get this wave pattern even though it's an even number of symmetry lines so whenever you click that line symmetry button it's going to remove the symmetry and you can get uh, this kind of overlapping look to it so yeah that's a couple of things that you can do with the line symmetry tool and also you can combine them so let's just say here let me get a, an idea for where the line of symmetry is Okay, so I'll overlap these. Cool. So when you combine them, you can do stuff like this. So like I got a flower design here and then I can pull up my single symmetry. And make a pattern like this. So yeah, you can just kind of combine stuff. I don't know what kind of design this is supposed to be, but uh, like I said before, you can kind of just doodle as you will, and it's really therapeutic to just kind of sit there and draw whatever. Uh, another thing that you can do with this is you can make really nice ornate designs. So I'll show you a couple that I made. Um, I did a series of illustrations. You can check those out in my DeviantArt gallery uh, where I did Art Nouveau inspired um, prints of the Sailor Scouts. So for the backgrounds I did pretty much a majority of the backgrounds with the symmetry tool. So this kind of looks like really really overwhelming right now but uh, when it was colored, it was easier to differentiate the shapes, but just to kind of get an idea for it, I'll get rid of that background right now. But I first started out like just making the shape here. Um, that was just a single line of symmetry. And then over here, I did the... I don't remember how many I did, probably like seven or eight. Um, and I did the shapes here so you can add like circles that kind of thing so here let me just pull back to this page and just to kind of get an idea um, you can also use selection tools like this so yeah no matter what you do in any of these situ like the sections, you can replicate, and you can even go across lines. So don't feel like you need to be um, shoved into a specific location. So yeah, just a another thing that you can do with that. Anyways, so for this, um, I did the symmetry tool here, made a whole bunch of different shapes. That was nice. Um, I believe I combined multiple ones with this one as well because I don't think I made this design um, on the same layer as these kind of circle patterns but yeah like I said you can combine stuff and I ended up flattening that layer and you can also use the symmetry tool to add design into the middle and then finally on the outside I did another single symmetry tool so that was a pretty straightforward image. Oh, that was my line work for my character. Sorry. Uh -huh. Let's pull that back up. Yeah. Uh, this one here was also similar with just like the single line of symmetry. And this one, pretty self-explanatory. It was a little less involved than the first one. Uh, this one, however, was the one that really had the most like negotiating around the symmetry tool uh, the little circular part here I did with just like the normal spoked kind of symmetry tool and then um, I had to do on a separate layer do the circular like outline on the top 
and then I erased this part and did a symmetry tool like diagonally just a single line diagonally and erase down at the bottom here did a single one and a single one so yeah it's just kind of um, moving around and just kind of like playing with the tool and combining them together so this one was definitely the hardest of my group that I did uh, just by the nature of how the shape is so you can really get a lot of interesting design stuff if you combine and just kind of work around as well so uh, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of things that you can use the symmetry tool for and definitely play around with that and like I said just doodling with it is also a nice way to spend an afternoon uh, just like a couple um, hours or I don't know minutes depending on how bored you get with it and how quickly you can move on and do something else so I hope that inspired some people to go test out the symmetry tool uh, and that's gonna be it for this episode today this was probably a bit on the short side but next week we're going to be going in depth with another topic that is going to take a lot more time so look forward to that uh, and if you have any suggestions for anything you want me to talk about in the future please send a message to the DeviantArt group uh, or you can just leave a comment in the section below and I'll see that. Also, if you have any pieces you want me to look over for a critique video, send that uh, as a message to the group as well and I'll check that out. Um, I still have some openings for that, so send in some stuff. Just uh, one or two pieces is fine or a link to your gallery and I'll pick a couple that I want to talk about and I'll give some pointers and my opinion on just whatever you send my way. So that's going to be it for tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye